Hello Miss Friends! Today a very very easy and quick tutorial because I want to show you how you can create this little component in here. As you can see it's very very shiny. In the tutorial I'm going to use some donut crystals. If you don't have this specific shape for your crystal you can choose a similar shape with a similar size. I think that the pattern will work the same, no problem. So, I hope that the tutorial will be clear, I hope that it will be an inspiration for you, thank you for watching, see you soon on the next video, bye bye! To create this beadwork you will need needles, size 10 and thread, choose the one you prefer. You will need several colors and several sizes of donut crystals. If you don't have this particular crystal with this specific shape, you can choose a similar bead with similar sizes. Then you also need some pearls and then you will need in the same color three different sizes of beads size 8, size 11 and size 15. Pick up the sequence of crystals and pearls and carry all the beads to the end of the thread. Then sew through the first pink crystal and sew also through the next pearl and crystal because in this way we will be ready to add new beads on the beadwork. Pick up this sequence of beads again and sew through the last two beads we were starting from. Then sew through this transparent big, big crystal and sew also through the next two beads. Pick up this sequence and sew through the last two beads we were starting from. Then sew through the pink bead and sew also through the next two beads as we have done before. At this point we need to close the working around so I'm going outside this crystal here. I pick up one big transparent crystal and I sew through these two beads here at the beginning of the beadwork. Then I pick up a pink crystal again and I sew through these two beads here. And I also sew through the transparent big crystal. So this is what you have right now. Let's go on. Pick up another crystal and sew through the next one and repeat this step until the end of the round. I've placed the four crystals among the bigger ones. I'm going outside a transparent crystal. I pick up this sequence and I sew through the same crystal I'm starting from. And I also sew through the next two beads in this way. Now I pick up this sequence and I sew through the turquoise pearl the next crystal in this way. Then I skip the purple bead here and I sew through the next one, the big transparent crystal. To be ready to add new beads, I also sew through the next two ones in this way. Pick up the same sequence we have seen just before and sew through the turquoise bead and the next crystal as we did before. Then skip the purple bead here and sew through the next crystal. Then as you can imagine sew through the next two beads in this way. Before adding new beads sew through the crystal and the pearl, the next turquoise pearl. Here we are. Then pick up one pink crystal and sew through the pearl and the crystal on the other side. Skip the purple crystal and sew through the next one. And sew also through this crystal here, just the first crystal, not the pearl, as you can see. With the needle I'm going outside in the space between the pearl and the crystal. Pick up a 3 size 11 and sew through the next, the opposite crystal here, going in the opposite direction. Now pick up a 3 size 15 and sew through 
the next crystal here just before the pearl. Place the size 15 seed beads on one side of the purple crystal, the side you prefer, no matter. Pick up three more sides 11 and then sew through the next or opposite crystal here going in the opposite direction. Then pick up three more sides 15 and sew through the crystal here. Remember to place the size 15 on one side of the purple crystal and go on like this until the end of the round. I can say that I have completed my round. As you can see, there are three beads on every side of the beadwork. Here they are. And there are also three beads on one side of every purple crystal. Now it's very, very easy. First of all, sew through the three sides 11 in here. Then sew through the crystal here at the base of the purple one. Pick up three more sides 15 and sew through the same crystal in here. Just pay attention that this new sides 15 are on the other side of the purple crystal. In this way. Now here we already have uh, the three sides 11 so pick up three more sides 11 and go in the opposite direction so sew through this crystal in here because we need uh, to have uh, sides 11 seed beads uh, at the top and at the bottom part of every side of the beadwork. Now again you already know, three more sides 15 and sew through the crystal in here. Be sure that you place the, this new sides 15 on the other side of the purple crystal. And then again, three more sides 11 seed beads. Here we are and sew through the crystal in here. So repeat this step until the end of the round, until you have decorated all the sides of the beadwork. All the sides are decorated as you can see. Don't worry about the position of the sides 11 seed beads because they will be in place, in the right place, once we finished all uh, the decoration all around our piece. To be ready to go on decorating this piece, you have to go outside from one of the pink crystal here at the top or at the bottom. Pick up a size 11 and sew through the next pink crystal and repeat this step until the end of the round. Once the round is completed, go outside from a size 11 between two pink crystals, pick up three size 15 and sew through the central size 11 in here. Then pick up three more sides 15 and sew through the, si the next sides 11 between the two pink crystals. And repeat this step for every side of the beadwork. Once the decoration is completed on the top part, go outside from a uh, sides 11. This is the sides 11 I'm starting from. Pick up four more sides 15 and sew through the next sides 11. Before adding new beads, sew through the first sides 15 you meet. In this way. Very easy. Now pick up three more sides 15 and sew through the next sides 11. In this way. Again, repeat the same step. Before adding new beads, sew through the first size 15 you meet. And again, pick up three more size 15. Sew through the next size 11. And before adding new beads, go back and sew through the size 15. In this way. Now it is the last step of the round. Pick up only two sides 15 and instead of sewing through the sides 11, sew through 
the size 15 closest to the size 11 going towards the center of the beadwork. So in this direction, that's very important. Then sew through the size 11 and sew through the size 15 you were starting from. We miss only one step to decorate this upper part of the beadwork. First of all, sew through these two size 15 in here on the top of the pink crystal. I'm going outside these two size 15 in here. I pick up one size 8 and I sew through the opposite two size 15. Very easy. Then I go back and sew through the size 8 and I sew through the two size 15 I was starting from. In this way my size 8 is well fixed on the top part of the beadwork. The decoration of the top part is completed. Now you have to sew through all the beads until you reach the other side of the beadwork and you have to repeat the same steps. And here we are. The beadwork is completed. As you can see I've just repeated the same steps on the other side of the beadwork and now you can use this piece in many different ways. You can connect more of these pieces together using some jump rings, using some beads and in this way you can create a very shiny bracelet. Or otherwise you can use a hook in here with some jump rings and you can turn this component into an earring for example or also as a pendant if you like. So. I hope that the tutorial was clear. Thank you for watching. I hope that this piece of beadwork can be an inspiration for you and see you soon in the next video. Bye bye!